podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, no more there. Go on. Let me tell you. I'm going to give you this easy one, two, three step. One, follow us on all social media platforms. Everything. Subscribe, follow. Membership. That's what we have. That's how only and only way you can see all the exclusive content. How you find that is in our YouTube channel under each and every video. Down here in the description section, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link, follow all the instructions. Y'all not going to regret it. Thank you for all the love and support. Man, hey, man, we don't need to go no further. We are in Las Vegas. And guess what, man? My guy, man, Ayatollah Marv out of Bumpton is in the building. Listen, man, stop playing. We're in Las Vegas, and it's about to go down. What's up, my brother? Hey, 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 we out here with Boss Talk 101. Anybody can do it. Just listen in. Man, listen, I, 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 you know, the other day, man, something special happened. You called me when it started to happen, you know, and I knew it was going to hit the internet, but I couldn't talk about it unless I was talking about it with you. That's Cause right. Because we, we talked about it while it was going on. You was there, man. What was going down on Rosecram with YG and uh, my boy, The Game? Hey, hey the inception. Now, this, this was a creation. This was a long time being uh, put together by some dedicated brothers from Fruit Town, some dedicated brothers from Treetops, which had been at war, had a difficulty with each other for the last 30 some years, 1988. Wow. A brother, a uh, uh, devil got killed and it was Tony Lane's relative, Tony Lane's from the treetops. And uh, when devil got killed, it caused a little gap between fruit town and treetops. And the, the gap just grew over the years and grew over the years and the discontent. And it was finally in the last year or so starting to heal up. Uh, amazingly, a uh, week and a half ago, they, the first time fruit uh, treetops had been in Gonzales Park in years. And they got together. So uh, we did an award ceremony with the Nation of Islam um, last week. Uh, YG put it upon himself to get with some brothers and they got together and they said they were going to do a peace walk down Rosecrown. So all the Pyrus got together. I mean, look, it's been, it was so many different sets there. It was so amazing. Like the unit, I hadn't heard from Eastside Pain. Eastside Pain is a, one of the uh, blood groups out of uh, Wilmington, California. I ain't heard from them since the 80s. Eastside wow. Pain, Scottsdale. Mad Swans was there. A uh, local mic from BSB Bloodstone Villains. And nobody uh, was arguing. Everybody was in unit was in happy but that's that seeing Pyru's we brought back Pyru love. Wow. And as we were going down Rosecran, we they they started at Gonzalez Park. And we walked down to Tams where Thanks to Kendrick, they ain't like us. Yeah. Kendrick set it off, set the fire, and they kept giving it the oxygen. Now it became a straight, straight out blaze. And we went to, they went to Tams. Then we walked over to Taco Pete. Uh, YG bought everybody tacos. They ate tacos, and we was out there bicking back, being bull. Uprise game in a black Rolls Royce. Yeah. And, and wait a minute, now game, uh, you had spoke on game on the show, uh, uh, this was this was when uh, the They Not Like Us video shoot and it was going down at the club and, and he didn't show up or whack 100. Now you see game, now you know game to watch boss talk or you might have seen this. What was that conversation man, like? Man, look at here, you know, he say, when, when he rolled up on me, he say, what's up, Unc? Man, look, <laughs> this, this, you know, I've been knowing these guys, you know, so he's like, his presentation, man, I wasn't messing with the politics. Yeah. But this is hood. Every pyro that's supposed to be legitimate was on Rosecrans Sunday. Every pyro. When yeah, he was bro. out the set, when he was in the set, all everything was forgiven. Everything wow. was forgiven. Wow. So every pyro in Cal San Diego, we had we had Skyline Pyro's from San Diego. We had we had them from all. How so you know, wasn't just it? from you? So who put this organization? Who who put this event together? A uh, YG. YG. And how well, did he get the news out that everybody needs to come? We knew. 
Can, I can't say that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I be getting checked on Ross talk. Uh, uh, Miss Jamaica, she give me a list of words that I can't <laughs> say. So, you know, I can't say. I ain't going to say. So, but anyway, yeah. I mean, the word get out. We Pyrus. And it's back. It was so amazing for me to be around this long. And we were starting to deal with blocks and who I ain't messing with him because he this and this is all Pyrus. But Sunday, it became back with Puddin and Tam and, and Lil Vince and, and, and all of the original Pyru Street. When you heard it in the 70s and the 80s, it was Pyru Love. Okay. And it went back last Sunday to Pyru Love. Wow. And it, it resonated so much. I got North Carolina, South Carolina, Memphis, Tennessee, looking at this and like, bruh, y'all put it together. I thought it was coming from the South, but the West is bringing it. Yeah. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that it won't come from the East. The sun won't rise from the East. It'll come from the West. And with this Pyru movement, it's bringing the sun. It, it black is back. Wow. Black is back. Was this motivated from the Kendrick Lamar situation that, um, that he did brought together? Cause this came it, after that. It was, it was part of, I mean, it's like, you know, if, if you flick out a match and a fire start and it starts getting oxygen, it builds. Thanks to Kendrick, he got in a beef with somebody and it came up and the camaraderie came up that, okay, we with this dude here. And he's, he's really out of Compton. You dig what I'm saying? And, and he don't have to claim a gang. He's just K Dot. Mm -hmm. And everybody resonates to him, whatever side it is. And mm -hmm. respect him. And I guess. You know, <laughs> say respect is commanded. You know, okay. some people you like, but he don't put himself in a position where he has, because lyrically he will tear you down. Mm -hmm. Physically, we'll do it for him. Right. Not we, like, not me. <laughs> but anyway, so, but yeah, it was a beautiful thing. And it, it, it's it's going to continue, you know. And I hope uh, uh, Gangster and, and, and Bernie and the, the the Crips out of Compton. I hope they do the same the thing same on thing. Alondra. So that's what I was wondering if they was going to do. We we they've been going to meetings. Be all the Crips and all the Pyrus have been with with uh, with Rayford Owens. Uh, grew up on Pyru Street. Minister Owens. Uh, Lil Vince is his brother, and and he's a Compton sheriff. Wow, he got a lot of hats. He the police, he'll arrest you, then he'll bless you, and then he'll give you a burger. Wow, <laughs> so I, I I really like like I say I like what I'm seeing, man. And you know you look out here and you just see all the things that's going on. When you think about <clears throat> um, Black Sam came out and did an interview. I don't know if you had a chance to see it. He just spoke out for the first time after the marathon and he just told some things about what went on during the time uh you know for us for him he had he opened up after what that's been about four years now mm -hmm. and uh this is the first him and big boy did an intense video interview about just how that day unfolded for him and he almost he alluded to the fact of it being that it was not just a regular hit that it, it was a hit that it was not just somebody getting into it um, he said that when uh, Holder went out, he ca he came he 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 left and went and put on a red shirt. He said nobody over there would have a red shirt to even sell him. So he was trying to camouflage who he was by wearing a red shirt to make it look like it was another set that had done it. What do you think when you hear something like this four years later? I'm from Compton. I'm from LA. I ain't got a dog in that fight. Yeah, you yeah. understand me. So I, I so you knew it was. It I wasn't stay in Compton business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I don't care if he had a purple shirt on. They knew it was him because he and came back and came. so it wasn't like he had a mask or something on his face. Yeah. So whatever shirt you, I don't know how you know. People in distress say allude to the red shirt. Try to make it something that it is. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the feeling was, but everybody there knew exactly who it was and told the police who it was. Exactly. I, who it was. I, allegedly, I wasn't there. Yeah. So, so that's LA business. Yeah. You know, it, it, and that 10 square miles, I, I try to keep it right there. Sometimes I get out of bounds, you know, a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, but it's it just one thing I, I do say, man, like for you, like you've seen mishaps in different sets. 
and different places. Is it that hard to buy a different color shirt in a different part of town? No, I don't. That's what I'm trying to understand. Because I don't. I never lived out. Well, I there. mean, you know, at that time, I mean, it's really because you can go. Can and, I get a blue shirt? Wait, you, you go. You go in Crip neighborhood and you see more dudes in red than in blood neighborhood. The, okay. the Peace Treaty in '91. These, these wanted to get red and blue. They've been wanting to wear it all their life. So it ain't no color now. You dig what I'm saying? So it was. You know, you can look at the. The walk we had every it, the dress attire was supposed to be red or burgundy, but you still had pyrus in blue, all blue, blue L.A. hats on, you know. So it's not the color anymore. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, the red shirt or whatever the jacket, hat, whatever he had on, they knew it was him. Yeah, you know, he came up close and personal, and t turned right around and yeah, yeah. You know, it wasn't like he was trying to get away. No, he wasn't. You know, so uh, from what I understand, he had two. Uh, he'd been watching Tombstone Territory or something. Man. Boy. You know, so he was shooting. You know, and it's a tragedy that these things happen the way they happen. But, you know, uh, uh, it's an element of time and everything got an expiration date. Yeah. So uh, if you look at life with us, to me, everything is a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in nothing by chance. Yeah. You yeah. know, so uh, I'm not trying to put a finger who did it. Uh, but I, I get it. You know, like I said, I know already, you know, how, how things are when, when there's tragedies that happen. People start to, when it's somebody that's close to you, you know what I mean? You start to rethink it and try to refigure out if I'd have been there, if I could have did this, if I would have been over here, I could have did that. I don't know why people wasn't watching. They should have been watching the door. We usually watch the door. You know, these are the things that we start trying to rethink in our minds. It's like even if you went down to that casino tonight and you lost um, uh, $2,000 or or, or Five thousand dollars. I'd be sick as hell. No, but you, you would start trying to rethink it. Like, damn, I shouldn't have bet on six. I should have bled black. <laughs> I shouldn't have been on red. I should have bet black. I, I should have brought a gun. <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you get to yeah. thinking and trying to refigure out how to trace your steps. Like you lost something. Well, you did. Yeah, yeah. And that's what happened when you take a big loss. Yeah, for sure. Like, what what do you think uh, uh, when you look at like? Okay, here we go. I'm going to go back into it. Michael Jackson, this thing, it gets you so many different looks because people say so many different things. That Michael Jackson, uh, there's a guy that they're talking about now that said he was a, a burnt face, messed up real mm -hmm. bad. Right, right. They're saying that he's, that Mike never died. There's a, there's a, there's a thing going around where the day that Mike supposedly died, the corner truck showing a man jumping out of the, out truck. the corner truck. You seen that? Yeah, I saw that. I said, man, what? And it's got the license plate on there. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think when you see these things? I think it's bullshit. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm, somebody, the, with, with somebody, the you said but, he that, that your friend told you he passed, he died in 1979, yes, allegedly. Sir. Um, and then you see people doing this now saying, wait a minute, that day he died, somebody, that right there, whoever that is. But, see, is but, but you characterize that, that image of that uh, van, but they don't have step by step the van leaving the house going to you see it in a garage. That's right. And a man going, that could have been a week later. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nobody said that was the same day. Where is that verification at? That's real. You know what I'm saying? And they, they don't even know if that's the same driver. It's the same car. Same car. It's, but you have no verification that when Michael Jackson's body left, because when Michael Jackson's body left, it never went to the coroner's office. Okay, okay. It, it was sealed up and it was supposed to be taken him to a chamber where he was supposed to be frozen. Okay. So that ain't in the coroner's office, allegedly. Allegedly. From the Nation of Islam, from the people that said that the people that came in a hazmat suit, it was never, it was never that he went in a, uh, and for a celebrity dying like that, not where you have to do an autopsy, you wouldn't leave in a coroner's van anyway, mm -hmm. because you go straight to the cemetery mm -hmm. or, the, or the funeral home. 
You feel what I'm saying? No, I get it. So if 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 he died, why would he go in a van, a millionaire, a, a celebrity like that? Why would he leave in a coroner's van if it was not a homicide? That's real. You know, so uh, did 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 they put him in the corner? Was that his body? I don't know. We I don't know there. who it was. Yeah. So. So that, yeah. and that's what I be thinking. Like people will say a different thing or send you a TikTok, and next thing you know, everybody on the internet is talking about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, what do you think about like? Some of the things that you see a legend out here when it come down to now, well, it ain't a legend. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, uh, she's about to be your president. Not my president. Well, I'm just telling you where it's yeah, headed. I'm just telling you, it's getting closer now. People are a lot of people turn their back on Trump. Yeah, some well, people I mean, turn. What's well, going on I, with this election? Actually, it, in, in any way it goes, we going back to uh, uh, picking cotton. The Negroes in America. We we had to because see allegedly when this comes about when we were given the emancipation constipation and we got clogged up with thinking we was free and they took the forty acres and a mule back. Yeah. So they replaced it. So they say, well, let's give these Negroes education, and they started affirmative action. So you can get the education that you're supposed to get to build your black nation. But we got PhDs, MHDs, BCs, and still were slaves for white people. Mm -hmm. So then what other nationalities start coming into America using affirmative action to get their education, but they took it back to their country. So they cheat in America. So when America started food stamps, he said, so we're going to give y'all some more kind of money. This was in place of them losing the war in Vietnam because they made the food stamp money the same way as the Vietnam currency. So that's how Vietnam didn't, wasn't able to take over America. Really? So when they gave them the food stamps and they started putting it into a car, so now you got more foreigners getting food stamps with, with the food stamps he was giving them to Negroes and white folks and it was in America right Right. now they're taking food stamps so you got Mexican trucks selling tacos and sending all their they proceeds back to Mexico so it's the, the the operation is failing inside not outside so they have to make a change wow um Gene Deal, he comes out and says that uh, he's uh, talking on the fact that uh, it's 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 rumors out now that Craig Mack, who was an artist of uh, uh, P Diddy, um, that he didn't die of a heart attack; that he died of uh, AIDS. Who? Gene, uh, uh, Craig Mack. He's a, he's an artist. Like, do you think that? And this is just my personal thing. I'm asking you. Do you think that? A lot of times these artists will die of something like a AIDS or something, and they cover it up and say it's something. Well, I say Rock, Rock Hudson is one of the first ones to ever die of HIV, and they said he had a Rock Hudson. You, I don't, you probably don't know Rock Hudson. I heard that. Yeah, yeah. Rock Hudson was. Who is a, Rock what, Hudson? Rock Hudson is a, is a is a white movie star. He was the John Wayne of the '60s. Yeah. You know, so uh, Liberace, Liberace died of of AIDS also. Uh, he was a pianist, a homosexual pianist. And when he died, he left $30 million to his cat. Wow. And I heard that. Yeah, so, but then how we found out that they said he died of complications, right? So the complications came in 1970, I believe. You got to go back and check. But his driver sued um, Liberace's estate and said that Liberace gave him HIV. Mm. And it was the first case in California to win, and it was called for palimony. So that was how the palimony suit started, that men could sue men for being lovers. How could, way back when e, e passed away, how could Suge Knight say on Arsenio Hall show, we could just stick him with a little bit of that easy. How could he say a statement like that so because early Because he on? got it from the government. Because that's who a little bit of 
the, the government kill E. But how would how would E how would Suge know that? It's just so for them to go back and get old footage and come back and say that. And it looked like, man, like, why would she say something way back then like that? Because, I mean, somebody put it out. It was, uh, it was just like uh, with uh, Magic Johnson. Uh, Mag Allegedly, I was not there. But they were giving all these pool parties in the 90s. Mm -hmm. was, and California was giving these pool parties. And I understand you have to ask Magic when you view, uh, interview, interview him. him. Uh, they said told him, look, check this out. You got a Whoa. So I got V. Say, look, this the same woman that you was dealing with at this pool party. She's one of our agents. She's the one that gave it to Eze. -E. And that's what Magic went on the whole campaign with safe and passing out, you know, and then they found out one of the whistleblowers told him he didn't have a and so to cover it up, they gave him banks, and it's how magic works. I get all these parks, and the gov government paid him off. But then show you what God did. If we say it's God, you know, and they always say it's God. So uh, with, with his wife never had it, but they say ma magic had it, right? His son, born now, his son is a grown. Son. Ain't that ain't that life repeating itself or something? So. Man, let me ask you this. Going back to Suge, was Suge Knight from Compton? He's from the mob, yeah, he's from Compton. Man, I, I didn't know he was. What? I, I'm hearing, I was looking at a, a, a guy that said he wasn't from Compton. He, you know, I just was trying to ask you because you would know. Yeah, I mean, from all estimated guests, that's where you grew up at. Okay. You know, or whether they call that part Compton. They, to, when I grew up there, all that was Where Linwood. Okay, so is that, could it be circumstantial or, or could it be? Because they all went to Linwood High School. That may be they what They went the, to Linwood High School. Is that Compton? Linwood High School is not Compton, it's Linwood. Okay, so is that? Where in the section that they live in is Compton, California. Okay. When, we didn't know anything about it. Anything past Alameda to us was in Compton when I was growing up. Okay. It was, that side was Linwood, Sears, but then when they had the Compton swap meet and it resonated, right now, it's, that side is still Compton, but it, it's, when they get to Harris, it's East Rancho Dominguez, you know, but he's allegedly, he's from Compton and all, he's not from Linwood. He's not from Linwood. Who said that anyway? Tim Roo. Tim Roo said that? Tim's, Tim, well, if, if he ain't from Compton, Tim ain't from Compton either. They grew up in the same neighborhood. Okay, okay. So if if if, if Suge not from Compton, how how he not from Compton and Tim from Compton? You're talking about Bunch of Al's brother. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, Bunch of his yeah, brother and, yeah, and, and Mob, Mob Jane. Yeah. Okay. I just seen it on, on the Order Dialogue where he said that. Yeah, you, you know, you just, this... This is like the new drive-bys or the car chases. Everybody want to get, hey, talk about me being on on a podcast. They bring them out to parks and clean them up, and they get to rattling stuff off. You know, they say some of the, if you listen at the things that they talk about, it's some of the most insidious conversations you ever want to hear. You know, so I just don't, you know, Timmy, yeah, that's what he's. He, that's what he, he, yeah. If he said, if he said Suge ain't from Compton, he ain't from Compton either. Yeah, I believe they, they stayed on the same street. They was on the same block. Yeah. So Reggie Wright Jr. ain't from Compton either, right? He from that same block. Yeah, they from all. So from they the, all from the same neighborhood. They all from the same. I didn't know that. Yes. You know, I, I'm. That's that's Compton. You from Texas? That's that's okay. why I didn't yeah. know. Okay. Uh, well, now now you know. This is crazy. <laughs> you know, I was reading something on TMZ, right? And I don't know if you saw it. Reading from TMZ. Yeah. Don't, don't. What is TMZ? Hold on. They talk okay. about a. a they talk a, about me. A so-called chance encounter in LA on the 210 freeway in Pasadena. I ain't even got a girlfriend, so why you? Because I think about, about you, LA. Huh? You you Compton, sorry, not LA. He know. Yeah. He know about the whips. So, yeah, you, you know. know you far, know about the people down there. Do you know, know how far the 210 freeway is from me? How far? But from far as from Compton to, to, to Texas. No, it isn't. <laughs> you play the 210 freeway. 
this, that's all she got today. She tired. So you tell me when you think about like you think about the the way you guys came together over there, man. Will ever, it, what's the next? Uh, that was big. But is there anything else that you think is foresee coming about bringing oh, unity well, in the community? I mean, that's that's a start, and you just can't party and smoke weed and think that's emancipation constipation. We still got to work and start making things, putting ourselves in empowerment. And I believe that we have to start dealing with the vote because uh, our mayor won with less than 3,000 votes. Wow. And they said it was a landslide. And wow. not doing anything. We're the only city. We we were the first black-run city west of the Mississippi in 1970. I think we've had about 14 black mayors. Wow. And we're the only city in L.A. that don't have a Martin Luther King we don't have a Gil Scott Heron. We just made an easy E, but what did easy E do? So we didn't have anything significant. But if when Pyrus get together and organize with 2,000 Pyrus and 2,000 Crips, that's 4,000 votes. So we elect the mayor and the city councilman, and we get the power to bring the power back to our city. Because when we lose, if you see, like you've seen, it, it propels so hard, this little movement. I mean, a rocket fire all the way to the Philippines. Wow. I'm getting stuff from, from my boy Day Day. Good shout out from Day Day to Philippine Pyrus. You dig what I'm saying? Like, this is magnificent. This is, uh, uh, this is a, a, a monumental thing. It's 10 square miles. Mm -hmm. We've always been something extra special. So once we get on the business program to control our city, like I say, if we lose Compton, it's just like white folks when they didn't want to lose the Alamo. You know, they got Mexicans got Santa Ana, Santa Barbara, San Francisco, Linwood. We need Compton. How far did they walk when they walked down there? And what did that walk represent? Represent, what did it represent? It represented a unity. Uh, it did what the peace walk, a, a peace walk, uh, walk. Yeah, we walked about a half a mile. Half a mile? Yeah, about a half a mile. Neither these niggas smoke weed and drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot outside. Niggas sweating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but it, they walked up and back. You know, they walked up and back. Up and back. It came back to the park and kicked it and games to. I sent you the pictures yeah, of yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. Sent you know, took a picture with everybody. It was inside. I mean, like with no bodyguards. He came up there in his in, him and him and one other guy. Yeah, you know, like I'm, I'm in the hood. Whatever, whatever difficulty we got, it's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. I mean, everybody came. Everybody was there. Wow. Not everybody. Now I know everybody wasn't there, but what was Chris Brown? No, Chris, Chris Brown out the state. Those are just those. He not, they, 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 nobody from outside. No outside rappers that represent. There's no outside rappers from uh, uh, Problem, uh, uh, Jay Worthy. All all the people from Compton were on deck. On deck. Everybody from Compton, uh, Pyru from Compton was on deck. That's good stuff. Uh, man. Pyru's from California was on deck. That's good stuff. You now, think you you think um, like I said, the park. Did, did they go by the park? And anybody they gather? You know, the park. That's where y'all. You know, I told you it started at Gonzalez Park, that, and then they left there you and came it, back, getting ready to change that to music. Kendrick Lamar Park. Y'all changing it? We it's changing. I got a plan. What? Oh, you you. Uh, we don't even know Gonzalez. You know it. <laughs> where Gonzalez? Gonzalez to? <laughs> Nobody know Gonzalez. You ain't know who the heck Gonzalez who, who is. Who Gonzalez is? I've been trying to figure out who in the I asked Parks and Recreation. They don't even know who the damn Gonzalez is. <laughs> we go up in there every that's that park is the safest park in Compton. All of the motorcycle clubs in LA, everywhere, they do their they picnics, they do their toy giveaways, the deuces, uh um, uh, chosen few, all the major motorcycle clubs uh, give their functions at Gonzalez Park. I seen Menace was, was there too. Man, yeah, you know, as Compton stayed, Menace. Compton Menace stay there all the time. As Compton Menace. He always represented. He, he, man, he's he down, he, he, uh, like flat tires. 
He there all the time. He ain't playing no games about yeah, it. If he, if he got a show somewhere, he coming back to Rosecrans. It's going down. That's where he coming. That's it. That's where his heart is. Man, I love that, bro. Yeah. Just staying down, bro. Well, man, I, like I said, I ain't going to hold you too much. I just wanted to really just get We out here in Vegas, and I, I'm supposed to be at the strip club, but he didn't well, have no, me. Oh, no, you don't need to go to the strip club tonight. What? They need to be saved, too. <laughs> I'm doing a public service here. <laughs> man, thank you for coming on the show, man. We're going to get back to it, man. I just wanted to stop, talk to you. Thank you for coming out here, sharing this experience with me in Vegas, man. I appreciate the love, man. Pyru love. Hey, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And That's we what out. We do. Thank